suffer from joint pain or stiffness, well, you could have a degenerative condition known as osteoarthritis. This morning, we're learning more about it with Dr. Scott Kawamoto, rheumato rheumatologist and active staff member at the Queen's Medical Center. Good morning, doctor. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. So what exactly is osteoarthritis? So osteoarthritis is the most common form of over 100 different types of arthritis and is estimated to affect about 30 million Americans. Um, it results from the breakdown of protective cartilage at the, ends of the, at the ends of the joints. And so in this model, this blue stuff represents cartilage and it's very smooth and slippery and it allows the bones to glide easily over each other. Mm -hmm. But in osteoarthritic joint, um, the cartilage starts to break down and this can result in inflammation in the joint as well as changes in the bone as well. And when you think of arthritis, it's something that, you know, you think about maybe happening as we age, but you said that it can happen as, as young as you treat someone who's 18 years old. Mm -hmm. That's right. So the, the peak age of incidence for osteoarthritis is about 45, okay. uh, but we do see it across the spectrum of ages. And what are the signs? So the most common symptom is joint pain, and this joint pain tends to be uh, worse with use and better with rest. Um, patients will frequently describe stiffness or difficulty getting going in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, or maybe after prolonged inactivity. Um, one of the more frequent symptoms is joint swelling, um, as well as loss of range of motion of the joints. And uh, over time, this can result in a grating sensation or grinding sensation as the bones move over mm -hmm. each other. Mm -hmm. um, and more advanced cases can be characterized by joint enlargement or joint deformity. And some is clicking or cracking when the joint bends, but some of that noise is normal. That's right. So we do see cracking of the joints or clicking of the joints mm -hmm. or popping of the knuckles, uh, and that can be a normal phenomenon as well. And what are the treatment options that people have? So that's a great question. Um, currently, there's no known cure for osteoarthritis, so the focus of treatment is on reducing a patient's pain and improving their function. Um, there are a lot of different treatment options, but probably the most important is exercise. Mm -hmm. I try to stress this in all of my patients, and, and it may seem a little bit counterintuitive that for a degenerative or wear and tear type of arthritis, that movement uh, is the treatment, but research has shown us consistently that over time, patients can and should exercise safely. Okay, so there's no surgery or anything that can be done to help you out and cure this. So there are a lot of different medication treatments as well as surgical treatments. Um, there are topical medications that can be applied to the surface of the joint, uh, injectable medications that can be administered by injection into the joint, um, as well as um, surgical treatments that uh, uh, may be necessary. But the majority of our patients take oral medications to treat their symptoms. And that usually helps out a lot. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you, doctor, for being here. Now, to learn more about osteoarthritis, you can join Dr. Kawamoto for the Queen's Free Speaking of Health lecture called When Joints Disappoint, Getting a Grip on Osteoarthritis. That's happening this Wednesday from 6 to 7 at the Queen's Medical Center Punch Bowl. Go early to pick up some info and talk story with folks from the Arthritis Association. To register, call 691-7117 or go to queens.org and click classes and events. Thanks again, Dr. Kawamoto, for being here. Thank you.